angle under guard barracks, moving with Rambo as he crawls among the support posts. He freezes as a light is snapped on above him. It streams down through cracks between floorboards. Moving very slowly, Rambo squints through the gap. Rambo's POV. Now we're looking through Rambo's eyes. A low angle on an uninformed guard re, uh, rummaging in a tiny prehistoric refrigerator, humming to himself. He takes out a can of Coke, recognizably, recognizable, although the label is in Chinese characters. Rolls it slowly across his sweaty forehead, pops it. The foam now runs onto the floor, drips into Rambo's eyes. The light snaps off, footsteps, footsteps. Rambo moves on. Exterior prisoners' barracks. There are two rows of rusted iron bunks, out like a hospital ward. Most of them are empty, seven aren't. Seven American prisoners of war. Like the, main, like the man in the cage, they are gone. Scarborough, dressed in ragged peasant clothes too small for them. One man, bathed in sweat, moans and tosses um, with malarial fever. Another is wrapped so tightly in a fetal position, his face is between his knees. They have padded the bare springs of their cots with mattresses uh, with mattress of rubber leaves. Rambo stands a few feet from them as if giving a benediction. The crossbow raised in one hand, he moves on, leaving no trace. Exterior guard tower. The guard reclines in a folding chair, nodding to the beat of unheard music. A Sony Walkman is clipped on his belt, and he has earphones over gray peaked cap. He takes a last drag and tosses a cigarette over the parapet. Exterior, perimeter, rainforest. Tied on Brewer, hugging the ground as the smoldering butt lands five feet from him in a pool of light from a floodlight. He groans, watching the smoke curl up. Starts cre creeping his hand uh, toward the butt. <laughs> so I guess he's going to take a drag since Rambo won't let him smoke. Exterior compound cage. The man inside opens his eyes when Rambo touches his broomstick neck, feeling for a pulse. His lips are pe uh, parched, and there is horrible bruises around one eye. The prisoner says, barely audible, Who are you? Rambo replies, American, come to get you out. Prisoner, man, you are one scary-looking motherfucker. Rambo says, can you walk? Prisoner, I could a couple of days ago. Gonna be stiff. Rambo quickly picks the lock on the wrist clamps and then slips his Lyle knife from his sheath, starts cutting the lashings on the bamboo cage. What's your name? Prisoner says, DeFavio. Dave DeFavio, Lieutenant Air Force. The door gives way. And Rambo steadies DeFavrio as he slumps forward. Rambo says, shaking his head, shaking his head. Good to meet you, Dave. I'm Rambo. Okay, I'm going to carry you out. Don't cough or make any noise. DeFavrio replies, sure thing, Rambo. You getting the other guys too? Rambo says, not this time. We'll be back. Rambo slings DeFavrio's gaunt six-foot frame over his shoulder in a fireman's carry and heads off in a crouching run. Long shot on Rambo, crossing a pool of BG as the sentry lounge, lounges in his shack. Exterior perimeter, rainforest. Brewer seems to have lost sight of Rambo. He scans the camp to the tree line and back. The um, filterless cigarette is smoked almost to his lips. <laughs> I guess he smokes, it all, he smokes it all the way down to the fucking... The core, but wham! A booted foot smashes down on his rifle. Pitting one hand, he looks up. A North Vietnamese guard who holds an AK 47 in Brewer's face. Could this be it? The end of uh, Travolta? With his headphones on, Brewer hadn't heard the quiet approach from behind. Brewer closes his eyes in profound misery. There is a soft thunk. Brewer opens his eyes as the AK 47 falls onto the grass. Looks up to see the guard is leaning back against the tree, motionless, 
The van tail of a crossbow bolt protrudes from his neck under the jaw. He is pinned to the tree, quite dead indeed. Rambo appears from the undergrowth, still carrying DeFavrio, crossbow in hand. Rambo to Brewer. That's two. <laughs> Exterior rainforest. Brewer and Rambo, carrying the POW, rejoin Co on the ridge, where they had left their gear. Rambo sets the Favrio down and reaches for his boots. The POW looks dazedly at his rescuers. His eyes in hollow so sockets track from one to the other and weakly says, You guys are real, aren't you? From delusion. He says that from delusion. Brewer replies, huh? The Favrio says, Sorry, I mean, I talk to people all the time. I know a lot of them aren't there, but this is real, isn't it? You're taking me home now. Brewer replies, that's right, buddy. The Flavrio sits frozen for a moment. Then a dry sob racks his entire body, and he pulls his arms around Brewer. He cries with utter abandon quietly while Brewer looks at him helplessly. Thank God. Thank you. Brewer looks at Rambo with a stricken expression then puts his arms clumsily around the Flavrio, like someone holding a baby for the first time. Ko touches Rambo's hand, motionless. Let's go. With a cock of her head, he nods. Cut to rainforest near prison camp later. A stocky sergeant of the guard stands over the partially concealed body of the guard Rambo's killed. He raises his whistle and sends a shrill blast across the camp. Lights come on in the guard barracks. Cut to exterior. Rainforest. Riverbank. Night. <clears throat> the sampan waits beyond a screen of trees as Brewer calls in on the transat. Co is helping the Favrio walk unsteadily down to the river boat. Um, background, the river bandits eye the tall, dead-like figure. Suspicions. Rambo says... We better go for the emergency LZ at Point Zulu Sierra. Tell them we've got some heat, but don't mention the Favrio. Brewer starts typing. Cut to exterior staging area, Thailand. <clears throat> Doyle's ground crew is removing the camouflage canopy from a UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter. The turbines are warming up and ascending wine. Doyle and Troutman, FG, turn as the door is to the command center, bursts open, and a tech runs out. You're, you're, uh, the tech says, you're go for extraction, Mr. Kirkhill says, wind her up. There's the, hand, uh, the hard copy. Troutman takes the printout. Troutman, to Doyle, says, alternate LZ, Zulu Sierra at 500 hours. It says, may have heat, don't be late, all our love. Doyle replies, scowling from the from scowling at his watch. Let's get that tent down. Cut to interior Sampan River um night, sorry. The five reel seems a little more in focus as he sits huddled with the others in the cramped cabin. The five reel says, I gotta tell you, it's just like it's just luck you guys came when you did. They move us around a lot. We only been at that camp a week. Got a smoke? <laughs> Brewer, uh, pointedly, no. <laughs> DeFavrio, um replies, What kind of raggedy ass rescue do you call this? Rambo says, Why Why were you in the box? DeFavrio tells Rambo, Well, I caught this cobra, see? Brewer says, You mean a snake? DeFavrio, Yeah, uh, it's not too hard once you get the hang of it. In the wrist, anyway. It's all in the wrist. Anyway, I did what I always do when I get one. Brewer says, what's that? The Favrio replies, straight-faced. Put, <laughs> put it in the guard's barracks. Pause. <laughs> Man, they got pissed. They beat the crap out of me. But it's kind of a tradition. You ought to see him run around. Rambo chuckles to himself. You got a bad attitude. The Favrio grins, showing bad teeth as well. I know it. The Favrio eyes Co as she hands him a plate of rice and meat. 
Thanks, lady. You're pretty cute. Doing anything this weekend? Co, smiling shyly. Eat slowly. Don't make yourself sick. She exits um, with the dairy cook, uh, the dirty, dirty cooking utensils. Exterior, Sampan. When Clo Co closes the door to the cabin, Kin uh, sidles up to her and rapidly whispering something in Vietnamese. He seems to be eliciting a response, and her eyes are warily. Co freezes indecisively, then nods yes. In the stern BG, one of Kin's men is talking quietly on a beat up military style file radio. His voice is masked by the sound of the onboard motor. Coder whisper, Co whispers something and holds out her hand, palm up. Ken grins, gap tooth, and he pulls out a .45 pistol from his belt and slips it to her. Runs his fingers along the curve of her neck. She quietly pulls the cocking slide, chambers around. Uh-oh, someone betrayed someone. Exterior, C.A. River, inlet. The sampan glides into the brackish austri amid half-submerged trees. It is the original rendezvous point. Everyone assembles on deck with Rambo helping DeFavrio through the cabin floor. Brewer checks his watch. 25 minutes, we better roll. Rambo freezes, looks down. <coughs> An AK-47 muzzle is pressed into his kidney, held by one of Kin's men. Two more are covering Brewer, who had just handed his rifle to Co while donning his pack. Kin steps up, grinning. Rambo takes the uh, sorry takes Rambo's rifle. A fourth guard eases um, an arm around his neck. A long knife held under his jawline. Oh, the boys are in trouble. It has all happened smoothly and without and with precision planning. Co says, "Wacky number ten, Duma." The five real replies, "Yeah, fuck your mama, son too." In the kid backhands him to the deck, tight on Rambo, his eyes cold, looking at Co. She advances on him. Her black almond-shaped eyes glitter, alien as the depths of space. She spits in his face. Kin snorts a feral laugh. Rambo doesn't react. ECU, Co. Her eyes dart to the side. Rambo and Co. Something, a microsecond flash of understanding, passes between them. Brewer, enraged beyond belief. You fucking slope bitch. She whirls on him, drawing the forty-five, and it's it is enormous in her child's childlike hand. Her expression is terrifying. She fires. The renegade behind Brewer. <clears throat> she fires. The renegade behind Brewer rockets back um, rockets backward, his face exploding. She shoots one of the bad guys in the face, but makes it look like she's going to shoot Brewer to uh, distract Kin. Rambo moves, slapping his guard's elbow, driving the knife across and away. His teeth snap shut on the man's forearm. The knife falls. Rambo's hands are simultaneously uh, seized by the other guard's AK, simultaneously seizing the other guard's AK-47. Just as he fires, Rambo holds his hand on the man's trigger hand, aiming the gun. Bullets rake from groin to face. Imagine that getting shot in your balls all the way up to your face. <clears throat> 